All right, so we're back with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be focusing once again on another side quest. So uh, let's get to it. What is that? Magical uh, hopscotch? I never understood the premises of hopscotch. It's like the easiest game ever, even when I was a kid. May I have a moment of your time? Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derek Claw. Derek Claw. Um, I'm trying to remember what magical beast that is. Yeah, let's go with that. A Derek What's that? It's a magical bird. Muggles call it a dodo and believe the creature to be extinct. But that's because it can disappear whenever humans draw near. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. All right, so uh, you'd better be... Wait, what? You better be... Wait, you'd, be, you'd be better than poachers. Okay. Jesus, freaking... Uh... God damn. Okay, I could keep her. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Sounds as if she needs rescuing. I know the perfect place. The perfect place is with me. Wait until the neighbors see her. Not to mention how fashionable I'll be with those beautiful feathers. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. You know something. I would give it to her, you know, I normally leave stuff uh, and other missions to, uh, you know, people that request things, but I think I'm keeping this one. I'm adding it to my collection, you know, uh, especially since it's a rare albino one. Anyways, no, I'm playing around, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't leave it with her since she's essentially just saying she wants to keep it as an accessory almost. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to work with me. Why are you fixated on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Duracles? Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Duracles seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. Can you tell me what the Duracol den looks like? It's down by the shore, on a sort of overhanging cliff. You'll recognize it by all of the Duracols lolling about. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Duracol. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Oh, it's perfect be then. Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. All right. And I also have my trusty uh, broom with the uh, with the light for Gunaira. At night, apparently. Yeah, okay, wait. Give me a second. Let me see if there's any uh, fast travel locations there. Yep. Make the process much easier. All right, so yeah, like I said, I'm probably going to keep her. Um, you know, the poachers want it, want the uh, Dairy Claw to essentially kill it for its feathers, I assume. And uh, she wants to do the same. Not kill it, but uh, a more pacifist way, in a sense. Just keep it and use its feathers for fashionable reasons and... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't think uh she deserves it to be honest. This must be the Dirical den that Miss Moffat told me about. I think it's that one right there. Where is Gwenaira? Try to Yep, right there. All right, so um let's pull out the bag. Okay. Arrest the momentum. You're coming with me. Oh yeah. Easy, easy. Got her. Now I need to let Miss Moffat know. Yeah, after capturing a freaking phoenix and a unicorn, uh, nothing is impossible for me. Absolutely nothing. What are you up to now? Uh, slow down. Oh, hello. Any luck finding Gwenaira? Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible. Was it terribly difficult? 
Uh, not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? Hell nah. <laughs> it will cost you. I'm keeping her. Yep. Actually, I think she'll be safer with me. But it was my idea to rescue her. I'm the one who fell in love with her beautiful plumage. Oh, the cheek. Now, what shall I do? Without her feathers, I can't finish any of my fashion designs. Too bad, so sad. You traitorous foul napper. I hope she picks your eyes out. Oh, nice. We got a we got an outfit there. All right, nice. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, she only cared about that one uh, Derek Lock or Naira, you know, for the plumage itself, and she just kept mentioning that. She doesn't care about the species as a whole. I feel like, so uh, that's another reason for me to keep her. Uh, let me actually take her back to my um room of requirements real quickly. Is that free out there? Uh, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna try to remember where exactly there's the uh, the one where um, I keep all my birds located, or at least my phoenix. Okay, it's in the other side. All right, because these things just keep uh, opening up everywhere. So my phoenix should be around here somewhere. Um, there it is. You know what? I think I'm gonna be keeping all of my legendary creatures around here somewhere, like in this uh area itself yeah, this one this is for like some company I'm gonna keep all my birds here as well fuck it is a is a hippogriff considered a bird to an extent I'll just throw them in here as well screw it just for the meantime oh Jesus Granira is freaking huge compared to the other ones actually pretty crazy where's the baby Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Freaking adorable. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. We got another legendary bird over here. Pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, peace.